quick couple of notes on the fueling system and fueling the aircraft. Um, there are two tanks in this hauler. This is the main tank, it's 60 ounces. There's a smaller tank in the nose, it's 20 ounces. They're in series, which means the large tank or the main tank feeds into the 20 ounce, which then feeds into the engine. This one, uh, the fuel is drawn out of this tank first. This one will empty first as the engine's running, followed by the smaller tank. There's a, a lot of tubing in here. But there's only only two that you really have to be concerned with. The line here is just the vent line. This is your line that is normally open. The only reason I plug it is generally for transportation to keep drips or smells. Normally the fuel system is an open vent system. And that is the main vent line. It can be pulled out further when we're fueling just so it uh, doesn't spill on the airplane, which is a good idea. Move that. The other line that you're interested in is here. It's held on with a little piece of Velcro. It also has a plug, and it's to remain plugged at all times, except when fueling or defueling. That's the only purpose of this line is for fueling and defueling. Fueling works opposite from the, the draw in that uh, I'm actually filling the small tank first and then the larger tank. When it overflows out of the vent line, that's when you know it's full. Also, pretty easy to see, right, <laughs> through the wing opening here. That's nearly full. It might actually be able to get a little more fuel in if you tip it. I like to suck it back a little bit. This is the line that gets plugged. At all times. And it kind of coils again in here neatly. Just fasten with this one piece of Velcro. Fuel system is full.